The following program is copyrighted 2005 by Baker Communications Incorporated and may not be copied, distributed, or rebroadcast without express permission from Baker Communications. When you take the time to listen carefully, and then confirm what you're hearing from the customer. You're sending a clear message to him that you care about his needs and you consider them to be important. This is the way trust is built. As you act on his request, it will give him confidence to share more with you in the future about his needs and wants. However, sometimes the customer's answer is not always completely clear. Maybe the customer doesn't really have a good handle on the problem himself. Or maybe he's using technical language that you're not familiar with. Maybe the customer simply didn't provide enough information for the sales rep to understand what his need is. At any rate, at times like this, don't try to guess. And don't assume you can just fill in the blanks later. Now is the time to ask for clarification. Maybe your customer tells you that a certain product isn't working like he hoped it would. In that case, you would need to clarify by saying something like, I'm very sorry to hear that. Could you describe for me the kinds of problems you have been experiencing? Here are examples of the types of clarifying questions you might use. Tell me more about it. I don't think I fully understand what you mean. Could you give me a little more information? And why is that a concern for you right now? Remarks like these give the customer the opportunity to provide you with the rest of the information you need in order to really understand the customer's need and what he wants to happen next. Always remember to confirm what you have clarified. Don't ever assume you understand what the customer has just told you until he confirms that you have it right. Just remember, clarify whenever you don't have enough information to understand what the customer needs and wants. Clarify by asking for additional information or explanation regarding what has been said and why. Confirm before making a decision or acting on any information, ideas, opinions, or suggestions from your customer. Confirm by stating to the customer your understanding of what he wants and why he needs it and ask him if your understanding is correct. 